you're a surf cast and you like fishing bait from the surf for striped bass, but you find yourself not being able to get the distance to get to that outer bar or your leader whips around and your bait comes off all the time, I'm going to show you a compact way to set up a surf striper rig to cast bunker chunks, uh, clam bellies, whatever your bait of choice may be to get that distance and keep your everything intact a little more. It's real simple. So it starts off with your inline circle hook that you're going to use for striped bass. So you need these to fish for striped bass if you are using bait. So you have an inline circle. It could be a 6.0, 7.0, 8.0, 9.0, 10.0. Depends on what size bait you're using. Also, you're going to want a three-way rig with a sinker snap as well. It's real simple. I take a piece of monofilament, whatever pound test that you feel comfortable with, 40, 50, maybe even 60. We're going to go about that long. It's about a foot and a half right there. Cut that off. One of the empty eyes on the three-way with the sinker snap. Tie one improved clinch. Not going to finish that all the way. Then on the other end, you could uh, do a snell here, but I'm going to tie an improved clinch because it's quicker and easier. Again, not going to finish that all the way. Going to take the hook, put it into the eye on the sinker snap, pull, and both are going to knots are going to slide right into place like that. Take it apart, trim off those tag ends, and you've got yourself a very compact long casting striped bass surf rig. You could use it for bunker chunks, clam bellies. This is going to get you extra distance to get to that trough where those striped bass are feeding.